Well, hello, Tanya. Hello, John. And Charlie, too. Mm, yes. <laughs> so, I got my cappuccino from a brand new Christmas gift what Tanya got me, an espresso and cappuccino maker. So, cheers. Cheers. And we are working. Our <sighs> office is a work in project. Yep. So, a work in progress, I should say. Yep. For our fireplace, and we're going to be getting some shelves, and starting to come together in here. So, so. what are we going to name our office? We, I think, think we'll leave that as a surprise until okay. it's set up. Okay, there we go. It's a surprise. <laughs> but we're not here to talk about office or anything like that. We're here to do the review on the Carnival Pride, what we got off of about three weeks ago. So stay tuned if Real you want to hear more. That's right. First thing I really, really liked was the terminal, which was Terminal 3, and Tampa Bay. That was gorgeous. The people were very, very nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, they seemed like they know what they're doing. Um, they had everything under control, and everything ran smooth. I liked it. Yes. Did you like it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So. We're agreement on that. And then we went out to the Pride. What's the first thing? Oh, okay. What's the first thing I noticed was the Pride is a sister ship to the Legend, but it was much, much, much more brighter. Yeah, it wasn't the dark. No, we still love the Legend. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the Pride right. was, it was brighter. Yes. And yes. Uh, the step, taking a step back, mm -hmm. the only thing I I, I didn't like is the way they had the gangway. We didn't actually get to walk up the gangway right onto the ship. You're absolutely they right. They had us go up the gangway from that port, from uh, Port Miami, whatever. Uh, ta Tampa or Tampa, Bay. I'm sorry. Tampa oh Bay. my God, Tampa yeah. Bay. Um, we had to go onto the deck and then down the deck and walk in. I, right. I kind of love when you step in right into the ship. Yeah. So right. I kind of miss yeah. that, but that. Didn't make or break it, but no, and I don't know. If this is, it's because of the gangway was set up different, or the terminal set up different, or the ship. But, but this yeah, you're part, right. they allowed me to film because they saw me filming, and they didn't stop us like the. Uh, one, they wave in the one port we yeah. went to, uh, so. Baltimore. Yeah, Baltimore did yeah. not let us film in the gangway, no. which you know everybody wants to film when they're stepping on the ship. Anyway, this is about this ship, and yep. we were allowed to do it, so we yep. were happy. Um. Uh, Right, so I really like Tampa. Uh, the Pride was much brighter. It was a newer crew, though. That's what we experienced very right away that yeah, evening. Yeah, not and they weren't bad, but you know what? They it wasn't personable like we're used to. Taking a couple steps forward in the dining hall. Speaking of brightness, it was so bright in there. Yeah, at a little evening bit too bright. dinner, they need to tone it down a little bit on on the Carnival Pride. Yeah, a little it's bit too so bright. so bright in there. Yeah. I mean, it's brighter than my kitchen. Right. Um. But anyway, uh, the dancers, they either were training or whatever. We didn't get the dancers around our table. They were all coming in line, and they were following one guy's lead. Like, they were all doing his moves. And when he stopped to talk to someone, <laughs> they all stopped yeah. dancing. I just felt like they weren't even looking at us. Like, it wasn't directed to us to have fun. It was, they were learning. So, but I thought, at least have some people out in the crowd that already knew the routine. Right. To be around the tables to keep up with the um, cruisers, you know. Absolutely. To, to keep the tradition instead of all training. I think it was like a lot of training. And there was a, yeah, there was a quite a few newbies yeah. as in um, Carnival employees on yeah. his ship this time. And our steward, he was great, but yep. he just wasn't bubbly and nah, again, you know personable what? like our last. He was, he was good. He was good. We don't have a complaint. He did great. Our room was right. always clean. Only bad thing was 
He was taking our animals, to, yeah, uh, towel animals every night. Yeah, we like to line up the towel right. animals yeah. for the week and then take a picture. Yeah. He wasn't leaving them. We'd put them on the counter so we could line them up. And, you know, and, and, and this, he was taking them every night. And this is nitpicking, but yes, it we, is. that's what we like to do. Right. And I've never seen a steward take off <coughs> animals every day, each day, and not leave them for you. <coughs> I mean, maybe there was a towel, <coughs> Excuse me. towel shortage. I don't know. Okay. You know, and I so know... So, we don't have to drag on about that. Right, and I know some of you are going to say, well, you're on a cruise, you enjoy it. We did. We did. Yeah, We're just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is review. The ins and outs. Right. This is just a review. <laughs> so, exactly. Pros and cons. This is some pros. And this, this is, is our cons. opinion. You exactly. Know, so. But we did have a great time. Um, they still didn't bring up... Uh, the next day was C-Day. They still didn't bring back some... Of the carnival uh, competition on the Lidl deck, so that's the oh, other two. Yeah, Charlie. All right, we're so try again since the dogs were barking. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, again, they didn't bring everything back on the Lidl deck, as in you know the Harry's Chess contest, uh, mixology. Um, so, well, but they. St Still had the ice sculpting. We didn't yeah. go to that because it was hot that day and we were doing something else. Yeah. But they had the ice sculpting. And um, the group St. Jude the, still. Yeah, and they had right. the glow party, and uh -huh. we, which we didn't go to that either. No. But they had, they did have activities. Yes. So, but we just, we really missed the fun Harry Chess contest. Yeah, and I don't know, you know, they totally uh, niched that either. So I'm going to look up and find yeah, out. Yeah, it doesn't matter, but right. some of the old things they used to do, we missed. Right. Oh, mixology definitely we missed. The, yeah, the mixology. That was fun. That was definitely fun. We were looking forward definitely. to a different dream. Yeah, yeah. But First island was Cosmo. We always love Cosmo. We love Cosmo. Um, we did something different this time. Um, we did excursion. Outside the carnival. It wasn't booked through carnival. But. No. Um, carnival does not book or have an uh, um, excursion to Mr. Sancho's. Yeah. So we're going to give... Highly recommended, though. Yeah. And you, you can leave at any time, so you know you're going to get back before... And the, they got plenty of cabs. You're not going to be a pier runner. Right. You, you can... The cab's a short ride. It was I, 17 or 20 bucks. 17 bucks, I think. It was 17 for the cab ride right, there, there. And then... And 17 dollars back. back. And you know what? I felt very, very comfortable about taking the cab there and taking the cab back. I, I oh, did yeah, not I think. Well, because they're all they all line up in the port and they right. line you up and you these cabs come right into port. Yes. And someone from the port directs you to each cab. So you're get you're not going out and fetching a cab for yourself. Right. They're helping you get one. And I got. So. Um, we're gonna include information uh, on Mr. Sancho's. Mr. Sancho's. Uh, the, the excursion company I used and everything else. <laughs> Since, I know, this is outrageous. Since it was our first time Mr. Sancho's, I got a romantic couple for two and it was $240. But that included a half hour massage for each of us, a rose to the beautiful Tanya, uh, unlimited drinks, and unlimited food. In our own table, private and, table. Oh, and, and, a, and, and then a, we had a, a, cabana. a cabana bed, like cabana a full bed. bed. Yes. yes. Um, it was very... The uh, drapes, you know, it was really pretty. I think it was very, very, very reasonable for the price what we paid. And our two waiters were phenomenal. Um, we had a shout out in the other videos um, very well. And then he gave us a card. Was it Dave was his name? Joel. Joel, thank you, Joel. Joel. Uh, Joel. What Joel. L? J O E L. Thank you. Um, gave us a, a business card and he said if you ever want to come back just with a, a tiki bar umbrella thing, it's only $60 a person. Because it was my birthday, he actually made me a little flower yeah. out of the leaves. Right. And, and I tell you what, uh, they got a beautiful beach. Uh, the water was gorgeous. Oh, turquoise. Beautiful infinity pool. There was two pools that yeah. we saw. Yeah. Little shops yep. for some shopping. A lot of the shops, it was like the handmade. They have a, had a few extra things because I needed some and they swim did shoes because the rocks in the water. They did not hound you. No, they weren't they following did, No one hound you. You actually went to their stores. It wasn't like someone trying to sell you stuff. And, and you can so. talk them down because we did at one store just a little bit. Yeah. So that, but, and that was fun. Always fun. And next day was Belize. And that's when we did our ship tour. Um, that was fun. I uh, got to know the ship a little bit better, and then we did the secret walk behind it. Yeah. yeah. Then um, 
Then we took a, a tenure because the water's too shallow and too big of a boat to have a dock and stuff. So, one thing, one thing I noticed right away about Belize Port, they put some money into it. Yeah, it seemed like it was a little cleaner than last a time. A lot was, cleaner, I yeah, thought. Yeah, last time we went, it was pretty run down. Right. Um, it was really nice yeah. to do the shopping there. Yeah. That was cute little bar towards the back area where we were yeah. that made lizard punch or lizard yeah lizard frozen punch. lizard drink it was actually pretty good yeah <laughs> it's like limey very limey but it was good i like yeah it was good it was good and then uh we what? did the little bar or restaurant yeah up I forgot, at the top. what was the name of that i, forgot the I name of don't it. remember it'll it be in our belize video you get off at the pier and you yeah, make a, a left, left and go, go all the way, way down, down. yeah it, there's a restaurant to the left and then they own the part that goes up the stairs to the right side as well you know, it was bar food but it yeah. Yeah, well, it was okay. Yeah, it wasn't I mean, terrible, but it wasn't terrible. It wasn't like, oh my god, you gotta go back, you know. But anyway. um, it, was, it was about fifty dollars, you know, standard bar food, standard drinks. Um The shops, so let me tell you, the shops, shops there, are awesome. and then we'll move on from this yeah. one. The shops there, the ones towards the right, some yeah. of them, some of them. Don't walk in and buy the first t-shirt you find because you're looking for t-shirts, because there was some like 60, 70 bucks. You go down a little further. Just as nice t-shirts for anywhere from 10 bucks, maybe even less, to, to 20 to 25 bucks. Not only I that. Look at the shops because there's some with the same type dresses, yes. shirts, for a lot more money. Yeah, go I, down a little, check out all the other shops. Not only that, if you go down the corridor, it looks like an alley, but it's not. It's shops back there. Um, there it's more like the cheaper. jewelry shops yeah. and stuff like that. It's even cheaper, Yeah, there's right? some different things. Right. But yeah, so just look around, but there's Sh some nice shops. Yep. Do your dil diligence and look around before you just impulse buy. Is that right? Yep. Okay. So, so we had a quick time in port, just maybe a couple hours in port, uh, did some little film, had some lunch, and got back on the ship. Um, that was that. I know one of the nights, and I just want to touch base again on yeah. the... Uh, dining hall, like you said, with some newer staff, okay, it's understandable. Right. But I would say this was one of the worst, not bad, but worst out of the ones we've been on as far as dining hall service. Yeah. We took forever for them to come around and wait on us, took yeah. forever to even get a piece of bread. Yeah. And then our food, everybody else was getting their food and out the door and leaving before we were even getting our orders. Yeah. Then they were getting our orders wrong. Um, another thing I noticed, on other compared to other carnival cruises, they usually start the entertainment right away, you know? This one, they waited until half the people were done eating and gone. I say, yeah. Before they came out and did any singing or yeah. any anything. I mean, you wanna keep people's interest and keep them coming back to the dining hall. Get that entertainment started right after, like, maybe the food is served. You know, right. don't wait. And that's what don't Carnival wait. is known for, uh, the fun yeah, ship. Yeah, but this is the first the ship, ship I noticed. Like I said, yeah. it could be a lot of newer people. Who knows? But And they weren't mean. The staff no. wasn't mean by no. any means. But it was just, they weren't on top of things like the other ships. So that's it for that. And, and, and here's the thing I'd like to add on to that. We're, we are very experienced Carnival cruisers. So we took it for, you know, grain of salt. Okay, let's give it a pass. But if you're a first-time cruiser, and and if, if people are telling you about, oh, it's great in a dining hall, you know, they're pumping you up. Yeah. And you get there, it's you a letdown. You will be disappointed. You will be yeah. disappointed. Just keep in mind, ask around, because a lot of them are newer staff. But yeah. still, kick it up, Carnival, and let's get these staff. Don't maybe train so many on the same ship. Have some people that know what they're doing. Yeah. and and. But we still had a good time. Or teach right away off the bat. You guys keep right. a smile on your face. Keep the cruisers entertained. Focus on the cruisers, not so much on, you know, just make it fun. If you mess up, so what? That's what makes it fun. You know, right. if you mess up in the dance, so what? It doesn't have to be perfect. You know, right. just You're... just focus on your cruisers, not so much everything else. Yeah. So, anyway. I, I, I give uh, Carnival a get a get out jail free card on this one. Since, well, yeah. You know. Yeah, but we're just letting you know how that excursion or right. that cruise one and then we had the last one no, we was, had two more uh was um we went to island world tam part of uh, island upper honduras we did book excursion on that island it was um a private beach all-inclusive getaway 
at uh, Princess Mayans or Mayan Princess. Princess Mayans Beach Resort, all inclusive beach resort. Yes, it was eighty nine dollars a person. That include um, ride there, ride back. Um, My favorite part was the monkey. <laughs> or no, was that on that? Yeah. Yeah, that was. Yeah, that yeah. One. I'm sorry, we I'm mixing a couple of the other ones up. You 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 put a link to that, of course, so they can see it. What the video? Yeah, I'll put something. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Tanya found a new friend named Tequila. Yeah. <laughs> and no, I don't drink tequila. It was a little monkey, and I just fell in love with him. But you'll see that in the videos yeah. if you haven't already. So. We always love uh, Mahogany Bay, but this was not in Mahogany Bay this time. This was part of the West End area okay. beach, which is very, very nice. Only thing is, and which was great what they did, uh, they had locals trying to sell their stuff, but there's a rope. Yeah, and they couldn't cross and they, could and not, they really do hound you there. Yeah. It was great, though. I mean, if you step back a little bit behind that rope, they don't yeah. they don't bother you. But but we got some they, awesome pictures. The minute you, you step to go into the water. But the waiter, if you're in the water. Oh, yeah, he'll bring the drinks right to you. I have a video of that, yep, too. Yep, so, right in yep, the water yep, he'll so. come in. But um, you got some good pictures of. <laughs> yeah, they almost look like paintings. Some of the pictures really some of, out. Nice. Yeah, they, the, the coconuts, this guy was in a canoe. Actually, and then the other one in the wheelbarrow with yeah. the coconuts. It literally looks like a painting, and it was a picture I took yeah. with the guy right on the beach. It was awesome. I just, I love this. I would love to frame this picture. But, um, and, and the food. What do you think about the food? The food there, there was awesome. They gave us yeah. actually a snack first, like a, uh, like like a, a meal. It was like nachos a, and different little finger sandwiches yeah. and stuff before the lunch. Right. So that was a meal before the lunch. And then, you know, they had the lunch. And yes, delicious. Yeah, the, the food was outstanding yes um i highly recommend this excursion um i don't think if, if a family would they enjoy it or maybe a, I, I think more of a couple well there was fa there was some kids there but yeah i mean if the kids just want to play in the water because um I mean, that was fun. And they had the things for the kids to climb on. That's right. I forgot so, about yeah. that. Yeah. Yes. I mean, they had yes. the whole I area roped off. Yes. I think you pay extra for that. Yeah. But for the things to climb on, the water toys, the yeah. big slides. And, uh, you so, know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Definitely. Definitely yeah. family. Definitely yeah. Family. I forgot all about that. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. yeah. And they had a, um, if you didn't want to go into the Caribbean Sea, they had a, a private swimming the pool. pool. Yeah. yeah the swimming which pool. Was beautiful. Right. So. And I tell you what, um, our waiter, wow, he was Johnny on the spot. I... Yeah, I drank enough beer to pay for eighty nine dollars. <laughs> yeah, so he, he was he was Johnny on the yeah, spot. Anyway, so, but he was yeah. It was good. Everything was good. Yep, we had a good, good time. Then uh, next island was Costa Maya. I was really looking forward to this. Uh, I was telling Tiny I can't wait to go to Costa Maya. They got this huge swimming pool. They have got it set up like a beach. Blah blah blah. Huge port. We're not going to book an excursion because every time we went to Costa Maya, we always had an excursion. Yeah. So this time we did it. Wah, wah, wah. And we'll tell you. So we get in order up. to use that pool. Well, let, let's take a step back. Okay. Walking in was well, walking already in. a disappointment. Right, and you know what? And the first person was, I guess they gave up on tanzanite. You, could, you know, remember buy tanzanite, buy tanzanite. Now it's collagen for your wrinkles in your eyes, right? And I get it. Okay, first shot right when you walk in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pounding on you, and then really friendly lady. She was really friendly till we're like, no, we're not paying three hundred dollars for your right. product. And it was expensive. So she just like yanked the thing out of his hand, like, boom, and, and like literally said, okay, and then didn't talk to us until we stepped out of the chair and left. She didn't say nothing to us. And, and you know, and I get it. She, she's trying to get a customer for sales. Yeah, but I get don't it. be rude. Just say, okay, well, maybe next time you come in or something. But and this is a kind of. It wasn't just that store. Right. It and was it, walking through the port. Every store was stopping you. Buy this. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. I counted four stores that Too is selling much pressure. that Too collagen much. cream or injection, whatever it was. Yeah. You know, it's like. And they're, same thing. They were all really friendly till you started walking past them. And then they like dropped their. Yeah, the way they were the behaving. Persona. Yeah, and totally just became rude. And I'm like, no, okay. And here's the thing. I believe that is a carnival port. You know, how they got their own ports mm -hmm. and everything. I believe it is. And if carnival is letting this happen, not police calling it, a lot of people are not going to get off the ship. They're going to realize... Or take excursions and just 
book right, right past everybody. Right. Because it wasn't every shop. We couldn't even get past it. And it's a but anyway, so. and it's a beautiful port too. And that's the thing. It's a beautiful port. Then we decided to get some chairs. Well, we wanted to go in the pool. Right. Go to sit down, and right away there's a lady approaching us with a drink menu. You can go in the pool, but you cannot sit in the chairs unless you are buying steady drinks. And one drink cost $18. Yep, and we were going to get a little something to eat. We asked for the food menu. $16 for a single serving. Of, and that's the cheapest. Yep. $16 for a single serving. Of nachos? Of, uh, no, chips and sauce. Oh, chips and, and sauce. Yeah, chips and salsa. Sorry. Carnival. What Come the hell's on. going on? This is if this is your port. Anyway. Yeah. Exactly. There was and it was funny because we we did do the chairs because we wanted to yeah. sit. We had nothing yeah. else planned. And it was a nice and pool too. It was a nice pool. Yeah. But literally, it was hardly anybody did because a whole family came up and I felt so bad. They had their hands full with all these kids and everything right. else, and they started to sit down. And the lady was like, "Nope, you got to go, or you got to each buy drinks." And and it been well. Close to oh, they had a good family of eight with yeah. them, and they were all disappointed because they had already started setting their stuff down. Right. Anyway, I felt for them, but there was nobody. Everybody was just leaving once they found out you had to pay, basically, not to use the pool. But basically, who's going to use the pool if you can't sit anywhere? Yeah, that does, that was the only disappointment of the four islands. Yeah. Was close to my it was. And not, we love Costa. Not it wasn't it wasn't beautiful. It's just the nickel diming. Us, mm -hmm. you know, and it, it doesn't have to be that way. If, if you let us sit there, guess what? You make more money because we'll drink more. More people will sit there, right? And and people will order drinks and lower your prices a little bit, and you'll sell the food, right? Anyway, and, and that's all I gotta say. And I was telling Tanya this: if a Margaritaville or a Three Meagles or Senior Frogs get in there, things will change. Yeah, things will change. Okay, anyway, we're gonna move on from that. Cause okay, this so that was the last port. Then we had a uh, what a day back at sea, then into Tampa. So, you know, we did the steakhouse. Oh, as always. Steakhouse as always. So good. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up at the steakhouse. And the service. The servers service. there were amazing. They yep. sang to me for my birthday. Yeah, that, that's loved right. It. it was your birthday loved cruise. Loved it. Loved it. So, did you like the surprise? What surprise? The cake in the room. Oh yeah, the cake in the room, which we. We were on diet, so we didn't eat much of it. Well, we, we had a little slice. We had a little slice, and yeah. then we it ended up going bad before we could finish it. But yeah, so in the at the steakhouse, I ended up getting a fruit bowl for yeah. my dessert, and they sang to me. I thought that was great. Yeah. But yeah, and the room was decorated. John had the room decorated. You pay extra for that, but you can get decorations. Um, and they'll you can get a towel, a frame. Yeah. And the cake, the cake was extra as well, but each little thing. Well, I, I, but you can get a room decorated, for whether it's an anniversary or... I did that like before our diet, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. So, happy wife, happy wife. So, then uh, we got back to Tampa, and our good friend Phil, I grew up with him since I was eight years old, picked us up on port because we had a little later flight, and we went out to uh, breakfast with Phil and Tanya and me, and we had some great... Uh, what do you call it? Bloody Marys. Oh, on the cruise we were having Bloody Marys, yeah. and I just I like. She got a Bloody Mary. I like Bloody Marys and yeah. tomato juice because it was funny. They weren't really Bloody Marys because I would order order them. Just a no Bloody Mary mix. No, no alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> so a, even a though virgin. it looked like I was drinking a lot, people always saw me with a Bloody Mary. It was just, a virgin Bloody Mary. a lot Mary. of tomato juice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't turn into a tomato. But yeah. yeah so we spent a little bit of time with Phil on our vacation. Uh, had great. Then we uh, basically came home to cold weather, snow, snow, and yucky stuff. But I looked on the Carnival app, and 59 days, guess where we're going to be? On the Carnival Celebration. Yeah. And I'm, I'm going to San Juan. Yep, which is one of our. St. Thomas. Yep, yep. I, Dominic Republic, Dominican Amber Republic, Republic. Amber yep. Cold. Yep, yep. So looking forward to that. Yeah, we sure are. Uh, um, and then even more so after that is, I'm looking forward to most, is our first trip to Alaska. Yeah. Again, still, if anybody has taken a cruise to Alaska, Please comment, comment below. Let us know the, the best things about it, what you enjoyed most, the best excursions. Give us some help. Because I'm looking, um, I'm not sure. Uh, we have one planned. It's well, we got a couple, fun, three, got three excursions planned. But yeah, give us the ins and outs. But I think in Ketchikan, we don't have nothing, but I heard that's a great place to get a, um, a salmon bake. If someone's seen, seen this video, 
please, I want to see this video, <laughs> uh, comment because I'm looking to get fresh salmon in Alaska. I know you're not a seafood eater, mm -hmm. so I'll make sure we get a burger or yeah, something. Anything, chicken, I don't care. I, I don't eat any kind of seafood. Right. So, so don't send me to, to just a seafood place. <laughs> no. But no. But also, give us some clues on how did you pack to dress? <laughs> Shorts? Yeah. Well, pants? This, this a is... light coat? A heavy coat? Yeah. No hats? Both? Pack both? I don't know. Yeah, because this is I mean, is we are our... going in what month? So May. Going, is it the end of May? May 7th. May 7th. To the 14th. Okay. So during that time, what's the weather like? Yeah. You've never been to Alaska. No. Can't wait. You yeah, this is amazing a... amazing video and pictures. It's going to be interesting. So, I, anyway. I, I, I can't wait for the celebration. And uh, I'm super excited about um, Alaska, in which we're going on the Discovery Princess. So, the, yeah. You know. Oh, yeah, on that cruise. Right. So, anyway, back to the princess. We're going to wrap it up. Or, not the princess. <laughs> you oh, call me a princess. Gosh. You call no, me a I'm princess. No, I'm talking about the cruise, John. Oh, carnival. The, the pride. Yeah, I the meant pride. I to say pride, sorry. We love the pride. I loved it. I had a really good time. And Difference, too, though. Like, I still liked the legend. But the Pride had the big screen TV. Well, they had a screen. <laughs> yeah, a movie screen, whatever. Yeah. But it was it made for the shows. It, it made did. for the dance. It made it was nice when the yes. DJ stood in front. Of, yes. There was stuff, and they did have one heck of a Lido deck party. Yo, oh yes, the they did. Line. I mean, they yes. really got everybody involved. Yeah, you got in. Even got I got that. pulled in yeah. with my uh, yeah with my uh, camera. Yeah. Someone pulled me in, so yeah. I kind of was following the line, trying to hold my camera at the same time. But you know, a lot of fun. You know what? A lot of fun. Um, Carnival did live up to the fun show. They really did. Yeah. So there was a little. Snap booze, whatever, but all in all, Carnival lived up to the fun ship. And for we, that cruise, we, sailing dates, for that cruise, I give it an eight. Yeah. I give it about an eight. Yeah. Uh, it seven wasn't plus, terrible. Seven plus Just, eight. And yep. you know what? Mainly because the staff needed to be trained. trained. More, more of them needed to be trained yeah. or more out there that were already trained. Just so we, when we asked questions, they knew how to answer them. Just yeah. that type of stuff. Yeah. Other than that, we had a good time. Yeah, we did. Yeah. So. On that note. On that note. We'll see you on the. Next video. Okay. It won't be the. We'll be doing videos before February, but yeah. next, next, next one. And we did have to omit our igloo one that we talked about doing because they canceled it due to the weather here. Yeah. Too many winds. So we it did was, not uh, get to do. We will not be doing the igloo video. We'll try again for next year. We have 50 mile an hour winds with uh, it was um, bad. It was 30 bad. below. So they said, nope. Yep. Nope. So, so But it's note. warming up this week and can only really go up from here, hopefully. Right. <laughs> so, Psychic Charlie says bye. See you next time. Bye. Bye. bye.